Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics. This time we're talking about flow valves, flow regulating valves, well, regulating flow control valves, huh? throttling valves. Gonna make it quick. I again have produced some 3D models. I want to show you the function and so on, like said already several times. This is not a construction, this should only show the function. Okay? So let's start with a standard throttling valve. And then we're talking about the throttle non-return valve, throttle check valve. But now throttle valve. This is how a throttle valve might look from the outside. You see, you have here some operation knob, yeah, and this operation knob. This can be operated. You can turn it and then there is something screwed out and screwed in. Oh. Let's see what is then screwed out and screwed in. If we cut it open, this one is just a counter part so that it cannot move alone. Yeah? So if we are moving this, you see, the, the, the real part is happening here. There is a little hole, huh? there is a little hole, and there is a cone inside this hole. And if I turn it to the left, I opening, I'm extending the opening here. And this is exactly what it is. Yeah? That's it. Finale. Yeah? There is nothing else. Yeah? Screw it. And we can even close it, completely close it, now it's closed, okay? And we can find, adjust how much air we want to have to, to travel through and uh, that's it. There's, not, there, there's, there's no secret behind. Okay. Yeah, throttle valve. This is how this looks like. With this knob, you can turn and adjust. Yeah. Throttle valve. Let's also view the throttle check valve. Yeah. This looks a little bit different from the outside. I simply tried to show you, yeah, there are different constructions out there. Yeah. So this is how I chose mine is looking. Yeah. There is also again this here at the top, this working this working pretty much the same. Okay, so we can screw it in, we screw it out. Yeah. This is exactly how it's worked also. But here we have a little bit more. Yeah. And also here down it looks different. Let's cut it open, have a look in it. And here we see. Yeah. So basically, here is the entrance, here is the exit. Yeah? Basically, here this looks pretty much the same. Now this time I have no cone, I have a different form chosen to also show you there are different forms outside, out there. And if I change it, I can open here this gap again. Yeah? But now the gap is not only just a hole, it's somewhere inside and this one inside if here's the pressure we will seal here yeah so this is sealed with this dish rubber dish there and if the pressure is coming from the other side this can even lift it yeah this can lift it you see the spring extension and we can also exhaust here yeah so we can lift it even further yeah we can also get out here yeah? so this now in this direction, it's slowed down, it's throttled, and in the other direction, from right to the left, it's uh, open, simply. Uh, and if the air, or if we can come again for the other direction, this will just close. Uh, and again, I have here only a small gap, and it's slowing down. Okay? So that's, that's the other Variant throttle check valve. This is called. So this is the throttle check valve. Let's talk again about the 
about the uh, symbols yeah, to make to make it complete. So a throttle valve. Huh? So a symbol of a throttle valve is rather easy. It's like this. And we have seen it's adjustable, so we do this little this little arrow through. Okay? Throttle valve. And now throttle check valve. It's a combination of a throttle valve of an adjustable throttle valve and a check valve which is bypassing this and this is spring loaded so in this direction the air is allowed to flow free and in this direction the air will block this and only coming through via the throttle uh, only slowed down. Throttle valve. What we can do with the throttle valves and how we should do this, uh, especially with the throttle jack valve, we will see in next video. Okay, next video we are talking about how to adjust speeds of a cylinder with this, with the help of this. Uh, what would be the best technique to do this? And is there something? which might not simply not work. Yes, there is something. <laughs> but this will be covered in the next video, okay? So, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.